Let's talk about students being back in the classroom. Uh, a lot of them went back to school today, starting another school year. And it is a school year where we are still uh, dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. And it looks like the pandemic has already taken a toll on learning. Some state test scores are feeling the impact of that. And of course, we know students meeting grade level standards in math, science and reading went down significantly over the last year. Dr. Gigi Chala is the chief of general pediatrics at Children's Minnesota. She joins us now with some advice on trying to make sure we have a successful school year. Dr. Gigi, it's great to have you with us. Well, thanks for having me again. I sent my kids off to school this morning. So uh, exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. <laughs> I think it's going to be great. When you take the temperature of parents that you're talking with, I guess, where should we be? Should we be excited, feeling good? Yeah, I think we should, you know, from a, everybody's a little bit tentative about what this school year will bring for sure. But what we can really tell is that kids need to get back to school. They need to be in person for learning and for their social emotional health. So it is a good thing as long as people can do it safely and really adhere to the things that we know will keep them safe and protected from COVID-19. So what can parents do to actually encourage their kids? Yeah, you know, from a learning standpoint, I mean, we learned a, a lot about last year, unfortunately. We really saw that some of the testing scores for reading, math, and science dipped across grade levels by seven to 10%. And so what we really hope that parents take this opportunity of um, this year at the start of this season is to set their kids up for success. Really make sure that what you're what you're doing is um, encouraging your child. Um, you know, last year everybody kind of said, "Don't don't worry so much about right, right. about the learning and about what's happening. It, it's okay. Let's just get through it together." And now this is kind of our opportunity to get back and really understand. Yeah, now we've got to pay attention and start thinking about um, learning and how we can stay on track. Uh, a lot of this is routine, right? I mean, getting kids into the habits of, of doing their work and staying on top of things and reviewing their, their classroom lessons. Yeah, you know, it, it, we've all been away from it for a year. Um, and so yeah. it's as much about the students really getting back into, kids really getting back into their pattern, and also the adults. And so making sure that you're setting up, you know, we're going to have breakfast in the morning, you're going to start your day off right, you're going to have a great school day and really encourage them, and then figure out what they need at the end of that day to really focus, get back to their homework, and close out their day with um, some good sleep. And what role does creating that sort of routine have when it comes to learning for kids? Yeah, we really know that that is the key to success. Really a positive attitude, encouraging parents, and then really that nutrition and sleep, really take that technology away at the end of the day as well to ensure that kids get off to that right start. Please make sure you're talking to your teacher to really um, see what exactly your child needs, yeah. but that should set everybody up for success. Dr. Gigi, can I ask you a quick COVID question before yes, we let you go? Do. There's been a lot of reporting over the last couple of days saying that essentially as a society, we have people who are vaccinated who are kind of freaking out, like overestimating their risk of COVID, and then people who are not vaccinated who are underestimating their risk. Is that sort of how, does, does that sort of gel with what you're hearing from folks? Absolutely. I, you know, I think, um, unfortunately, uh, those who haven't been vaccinated really aren't really recognizing that it is, it, COVID is a significant risk for them. Um, so we really want adults to make, be mindful of getting themselves vaccinated because the kids who are under age 12 cannot. Yeah. And for those of you who are vaccinated, um, thank you for doing so. And also recognize you too play an important role of keeping yourself masked, you know, in, in, uh, when you're indoors. Um, but also recognizing that your risk for severe outcome asso associated with getting COVID is actually quite low. Yeah. It's good. Good for people to hear that message, I think, on both sides. Give Absolutely. yourself permission to enjoy the fact that you have done the right thing. That's right. And if you haven't, get the shot. Let's go. All right. <laughs> Dr. Gigi, thanks for advice on uh, two fronts today as we get our kids ready to get back to school and succeed.